Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, while Carnival just announced, yeah, we got 41 of our 90 some ships getting ready to sail. And Royal Caribbean says, yeah, we have this many of our ships getting ready to sail. Norwegian, Nor Nor Norwegian's taken an another approach. Now, no, don't get me wrong, Norwegian's still sailing ships. I mean, they, they, they still have uh, the Encore sailing to Alaska. They had the Blizz getting ready to start sailing down uh, some, some Cabo cruises and things like that. But they just, they just announced that with the uncertainty still in some cruise ports and the uncertainty in some countries, they are postponing the sailing on five of their vessels, including some very popular large ships. First off, Pride of America. For those of you who are hoping Hawaiian cruises would start up sooner, well, we're looking at November 21st. So nothing until late fall, early winter, depending on how you look at it, depending on where you live, for the Pride of America. The Norwegian Dawn, November 21st as well. All sailings on that ship postponed. The Norwegian Joy, I was getting worried when I heard the Joy, but it is November 13th. I'm on the Joy in December, so uh, I'm a little relieved that that's not going to affect my cruise. Uh, hopefully, who knows, things could get you know dicey if we get closer and they still haven't announced more sailings. Then we have the sky all the way into January 21st of next year and the star on January 2nd. So push back until the following year for those two cruise ships, which is going to be disappointing to a lot of people. I know the Dawn has a lot of fans and people love the joy. I mean, it's a Blizz class cruise ship, right? Everyone loves those with the with the go-karts on the back and I'm, I can't wait to get on it myself. And so a lot of people are disappointed that, yeah, we're gonna have to wait longer and longer for these ships to get started. And people are wondering why. And what they're wondering why is why haven't everybody hit the subscribe button to the channel? And I, I have to ask myself that all the time because, well, it, it's self, it's self promotion. <laughs> I'll give you that. But yeah, if you would, I would really appreciate if you haven't yet done it, hit that subscribe button, the notification button. So you're, you're in contact with all the community and you find out all the cruise news and the cruise vlogs as we get ready to sail. And it, and it doesn't cost a thing. I have, you have no idea how many people send me messages saying, uh, I would like to hit the subscribe button for you, but I, I just, I, I don't know how much it costs. There's no fees there. It doesn't tell me how much it's gonna charge me. Well, I can tell you right now, it's gonna charge you nothing. It's gonna charge you zero dollars. <laughs> so uh, rest assured with that. Now, you may be asking, is that the only reason that Norwegian is taking this long with those ships? Why, I mean, the joy is here. Why, why is it not sailing the Caribbean? Why are they not getting ready to do that? And part of the reason could be, now remember, Norwegian Cruise Line was one of the only ones that, once that conditional sail order lifted and the framework for sailing came in in October, and then we saw November where nothing happened, and then we saw December where nothing happened, they started sending their crew members back after bringing them all on board. So they've, they've packed up those ships and they sent all their crew home and they paid money to repatriate them back to their, their own countries. And, and then now we have a reversing where they, they could be just taking a while to recrew up and find people ready to go. Now there's a, there's a ton of people who want the cruise ship jobs. There's no limit to that. But if they have no experience, remember, they gotta go through the whole training process again. And that includes singers and dancers and entertainers and uh, cruise ship directors, etc. Uh, even even crew members who uh, work in the boiler rooms and stuff like that. Boiler rooms? They have boiler rooms? <laughs> you know, it, it it's not just a matter of grabbing anybody in the unemployment line and sticking them into a position. Some positions are skilled positions and may be taking longer to fill. Because not everybody 
wants to go back to sea after being hired and fired and hired and fired in the last year or so, especially when everyone had their hopes and, and quit their jobs to get back on the ships to come back to North America and then found out they were being sent home and those jobs that they had given up weren't there anymore. That was, uh, uh, in a lot of cases, I know people personally that have sent me messages saying, yeah, I did this, I quit this job in this restaurant, and that job is no longer available. I can't get back in. And so I am stuck, uh, even though the cruises weren't hiring back at this point when I, when I got the messages. So very, very disheartening to hear that, but that could be a very good reason why it's taking longer and longer to recrew and they just want to make sure that you know we're not going to launch with 18 ships we're going to launch with seven ships and then we're going to bring on two more and then we're going to bring on three more and build up to make sure also that the ports are ready to go that the passengers are ready to come back and that the crew members are ready and trained properly and I, I can't blame them. I think that is a very safe and sensible way to go. Is it disappointing if you were one of the people that had your cruises canceled? Absolutely. But you kind of got to understand a little bit. But boy, if you were looking forward to getting on a ship, say, in October, and they said, no, nope, we're canceling it till November, it's frustrating. I know. I had the Odyssey canceled that I was supposed to be on in three weeks. <laughs> so, yeah. But we'll get out there. The cruising is starting, and it's starting tomorrow on the Celebrity Edge. And, and then it just compounds from there and builds momentum from there. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.